Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. The world of farming is changing. From the power and versatility of Steiger and Magnum tractors to the legendary reliability of axial flow combines, Case IH can help you be ready. To learn more, visit caseih.com forward slash be ready. My tire guy Mike says if you give him $20 in five minutes, he can save you $1,000. I'll reveal his secret in today's Iron Talk. Think of your tires like an eraser on a pencil. The more you rub that eraser and the harder you press down on the eraser, the faster it wears out. Tires are no different. The less weight you put on a tire and the less pressure you use in the tire, the longer it will last. So here's how you run your tires at optimum pressure. First of all, buy a good tire pressure gauge for 20 bucks. Get one that's standard and you should get one that's digital as well. Then you can test them against each other so you can get yours set so you're just perfect on the farm. Go out at 5.30 or 6 in the morning. Pick the coolest time of the day. That's when you want to check your air pressure on tires before you take that tractor or whatever piece of equipment out to use it for the day. You check your tire pressure and it's supposed to be at 10 PSI, but let's just say this morning you had a slow leak that you didn't notice and now it's down to 6 PSI. By checking it right away in the morning, you catch it before you get into trouble. Once a tire gets down to 6 PSI, it may not stand the rim anymore. And if it comes off, you may wreck that tire by tearing the bead. And because of how it happened, it's not going to be under warranty, so you're going to be out the whole cost of that tire. If you have a problem, maybe it's only going to cost you 200 bucks to have a dealer come out and do the fix on your tire to get you moving again. That $200 visit could have been a $1,400 tire that you would have blown if you didn't get things checked. So get two tire pressure gauges right away. Test them against each other and then check your air pressure on each piece of equipment you're going to use tomorrow. And do it at the coolest point of the day, usually around 5.30 or 6 in the morning. That's all for today's Iron Talk and now back to the show.